In this video, we're going to balance the equation for Al2O3 plus NaOH. This is aluminum oxide plus sodium hydroxide. The products for this reaction, often you'll see this reaction written like this here, where we end up with this NaAlOH4. If you need to balance that equation, there's a link in the description on how to balance this particular equation. But if you're balancing this equation, here's how you do it. Let's count the atoms up first. We have two aluminums, three oxygens, and be careful because there is one oxygen here in the sodium hydroxide. People often forget about that. One sodium, one hydrogen. Product side, we have the one aluminum. We have oxygens, two, and be careful because we have one out here in the water. So we have three, one sodium, and then two hydrogen atoms. Let's balance the aluminum first. I like to leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. We just put a two here. We have sodium one times two. That gives us two of those, but we have one times two for the aluminum. So we've balanced the aluminums. Oxygens, we need to update those. So two times two, that's four, plus the one here in the water, that gives us five. Let's balance the sodium atoms. We'll put a two right here in front of the sodium hydroxide, one times two. That gives us two, those are balanced. Then we need to update the oxygens here. We have the three plus we have two times the one. So that gives us two. That equals five. Those are balanced. Hydrogen, two times one. That gives us two. We're done. This equation is balanced. Probably the trick here, make sure you count up the atoms correctly when you start out. You have three oxygens here and one here, for instance. And then leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last in your balancing. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2OH plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.